Okay. Okay, guys. This is a kind of drug uh, video. Um, it's going to be a bit of a experiment because I've never taken this before, and I'm going to take you through my exact feelings and I'm going to record myself going to sleep and tell you what I feel like when I'm up taking the drug and then I will tell, I'll do a video, um, you'll see me when I wake up, so let's get to it, if you're cautious about taking this thing, as I am, because I've heard a lot of bad things about this, um, everyone that I've heard from, uh, it's usually taken in mental asylums to make people zombies, um, I know a guy who is on 400 milligrams of this stuff and he's basically has grown into his couch. Um, I do not want to become like that. I told my psycho psychiatrist um, as, he, as soon as he mentioned Seroquel because backtrack on this, uh, I've had problems of insomnia for quite some time now and um, I've, I guess I've always had problems with sleep, and my problem is always thinking that uh, I'm not getting enough out of the day, and those fading hours of the day where I'm finally at peace, I'm finally doing stuff that I'm happy with, um, you know, I want to try and stretch those hours out, so what happens is I usually end up staying awake till 2am, just trying to get the most out of my time, my spare time, making videos and whatnot. Uh, but it's not doing me any good uh, during the day because I'm always angry, um, moody, tired. Uh, so what I've been doing for the last four months is I've been either every single night has been I've been drinking myself to sleep or smoking myself to sleep marijuana uh, what started as like once a night with marijuana it's become every night that I need to take it to get a good night's sleep um, because I get very I've I used to have terrible insomnia where I could only sleep two hours a night and I'd be I'd have like really bad fidgeting and stuff and like my skin was crawling and all that it's probably didn't help that I was having five coffees a day and one before bedtime but yeah um so what he did my psychiatrist he said just take this I, I was honest with him I told him about what drugs I take and stuff and uh, I, I really want to break the habit because it's not really becoming a joy for me anymore, smoking. And um, I, I, I guess I would benefit off from it smoking a lot less because it doesn't really have the same effect on me. So I think I really have to knuckle down on this sleep hygiene. And uh, so no naps, which is one of the things I always do, is if I'm feeling tired in the afternoon, whatever, if I, I don't think I'll make it through the night, I'll take a nap, an hour nap, and then I won't be able to get to sleep till 2am. So there's not that. Uh, always have a shower before bed, use a sleep diary, I don't think so. Uh, no clock watching. What I find most helpful for me is um, putting on like a movie or something that really helps, that I enjoy and really helps me get to sleep. Uh, I've, my personal favourites are um, Inherent Vice, um, just like a kind of comedy a long, usually long films, like three hours. Um, another one is Don's Party, recently, which is an old Australian film from the 70s, and it's just, it 
cracks me up so much and it just puts me in a very relaxing state and it sends me off to sleep. I used to read when I went to sleep but that doesn't do it anymore. Um, sorry that this has gone on for a bit longer than you probably want. I'm just ramping it up to get into the, the mind frame of why I'm taking this. Uh, why I've finally gone to this thing that's a pretty hard drug. It's not to be taken lightly. Um, my psychiatrist has always also given me this. It's a mood chart. Uh, which I haven't been filling in, which I need to. I only saw him yesterday, so... I, I'll say now, my mood was pretty good for the last two days. Um, the other thing is, I don't want to put on weight again, like fucking metazapine caused me to do, and caused me to have symptoms that, like, my, my intestines felt like they were fucking being stabbed by people inside them, inside of me. I know you can't, I don't think you can feel anything in your intestines uh, because they have no nerve endings or something, but um, it sure felt like it. And I put that wholly down to metazapine. And I, I think my psych said, oh, I, at first I scoffed at the idea of Seroquel and then he said, oh, well, there's some other options. Do you want to try metazapine? <laughs> and I just probably gave him the worst facial expression ever. Um, but let's open this bad boy up. First it says, uh, this medicine may cause drowsiness and may increase the effects of alcohol. Well, it's good to know that because it's partly what I'll be using it with. If affected, do not drive a motor vehicle or operate machinery. There was another one I took years ago, uh, short term, it was called Imavane. And that causes you, if you don't go to sleep immediately, or in the next half an hour after taking it, um, it will really fucking make you high. Um, it's really strong and... Uh, It'll cause you to eat like crazy. It'll tend, it cause you to go run straight to the fridge. Doesn't matter if your legs are broken, you'll still make it there. Um, so these are what they look like, and I've been told I need to cut them in half. Uh, just half a night. This is probably a pretty low dose at the moment. So uh, let's get ready for bed.
Priorität sein? Weil wir die bärenvollsten Elemente des Kampfes und des Opfers sind. In der Nation mobilisierten, die zu allen Zeiten nicht mehr halb, sondern die Minderheit ausgemacht haben. Here we go again. Mutual Arslickers Incorporated. Damn. Maybe it was. I mean, it could be Russia, but it could also be China. It could also be lots of other people. It also could be somebody sitting on their bed that weighs 400 pounds, okay? <laughs> pretty good night's sleep. Uh, I'm kind of out of it. Um, very, very tired still. Uh, it took me a while to get to sleep, um, to be honest with you. Um, but other than that, it was kind of a full-on sleep. I didn't wake up at all. Um, we'll, we'll just keep going, see how long this takes. But uh, other than that, yeah, it was pretty, pretty good. Uh, it's not something that I want to keep going with. It's just something to break the cycle of needing other things to put me to sleep at night. Um, yeah. So, uh, uh. Uh, the vice presidency is mostly a uh, symbolic job. Okay, it's about, is it four in the afternoon? It took me about three hours to get out of bed. Um, but I just, it was, it was a pretty good sleep, I must admit it. Um, for short term, I would suggest Seroquel is a very good choice uh, for sleep aid at 20 milligrams, which I was taking. I'm completely fine now. I am in Fremantle, and the uh, smell of pot filters through this place. Uh, it's pretty hard when you're trying to cut down when you smell it everywhere and it's illegal but anyway <coughs> um, yeah you can pretty much do anything here and no one cares it's pretty much dead as you can see but I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, Syroquil seems like it's a good choice Oh shit, last update I promise in this never ending video, I was driving along the highway, it's getting, you know, in the afternoon, and the sun's beating down, and I just felt like waves of tiredness just come over me, and yeah, just a warning, like on the first few days of Circle, you'll be very tired, like moments of tiredness will just come out of nowhere and um, yeah I was like driving like, like pretty much like this you know, in the hood so yeah just be careful of all that shit okay over and out